Welcome back to PJ Chen Design. This is PJ. In today's Rhino 7 Sub D tutorial, I would like to show you how I get this pattern, how I arrange them into this arrangement. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so let's take a look on this pattern. If you take a look into my ghost view, you're going to see it's more of the square construction. And they are actually, if I turn it into the red color, they are actually just two piece. The other one is like a flip it 180 degrees. So that's starting with that one little piece right there. And uh, we can array into this pattern. Okay, let's start from the scratch. So I'm going to come in into my top view and uh, for the sub D to draw this, I need to have some reference there. Since I'm not gonna print it out, so I'm just going to uh, draw whatever size there and for a rectangle. If you're going to print out 3D print anything, always need to consider the thickness. So I always suggest you draw um, into the exactly size uh, for your 3D model. So this is not going to print, so any size will be fine. And I'm going to explode this square. And then so each of the section right there, we want to divide it, them into four sections. So we're going to use the command divide into four. And then so those dot is represented where the dividing equal size for on, on the edge there. Uh, this is for us to kind of play around uh, with the reference over there. Okay, so what I like to do is coming into the sub D tool and we are going to draw it with the sub D plane. In this sub D plane, the X count we want it to be four and the Y count we can do it for two. Um, and then um, we are going to drawing something snapping into the point. So make sure your point is on and then you'll get something like this. All right, so that's the first one. And then we got another one here on the bottom and that's the second one. And then again, this is within the sub D plane. Um, so you can see something like this is a little bit rounded and we need to connect it those two over here. So we are going to come into the sub D that you have something called bridge. Uh, mesh or the sub D. So I simply just call it bridge and we want the bridges in between this one enter and this one. So it will automatically connect it there. Now, if I wanted to have a more section, which we are, we can increasing the section right there. So now we have uh, two more section right there. I mean, you can, you can get it a lot more if you want to, right? But I don't need that many, so I just need two there and we want to click OK. All right, so now we have this basic shape and in the middle of the shape, it need to be a little bit skinnier. So what I like to do is using the sub D uh, filter and I'm going to pick up those and just like scale it down something like this. And then this is getting more narrow and I would like to also move it up like this. On my top view, now I'm looking at all four view. Actually, I want to pick up those and moving up as well, something like this. All right, so you can see this is a beautiful arc over there. And let's see if this is working well. We are going to making this sub D into some sort of the thickness, right? So if you are going to using the offset sub D, you can pick up your sub D, the whole thing. And then you can hit enter. You can type it up the distance that you want. Let's say uh, we wanted to have a two. Uh, you can decide if you want a solid or not. So, uh, I'm going to show you what the solid look like and you'll get something like this, right? This is one of the element there that we can play with. But if you take a look on the render view, you see this is all the harsh edges there and it's not nice and rounded and smooth. So what we can do is on the sub D you have some things called remove crease and you can pick up the edge you want it. And I'm simply just going to pick up every 
edges that I have on the, my sub D here. It will pick up the hard edges and then you want to use the remove crease and you will get something like this. This will be one of the uh, element right there. So we wanted to give it a try and see if that is going to fitting into our pattern. So first things I wanted to do, I want to pick up the whole sub D and on my front view, I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. So hold the shift at the same time you want to hit on the all key to get a copy there. So then you will get something like this, right? So this is the one we get the copy and we want to hold the shift like this. So then we'll get this pattern. So once again, to see if this is the pattern that's going to work for you. And if that were for you, is you can duplicate it. We just want to see what is going to happen uh, when they turning into the grid, right? So I'm going to pick up both of them and I'm going to use the rectangle array. And I just need to have uh, something for the sample. We just need to have uh, two of them. All right, Z, we're just going to keep it as a one and hit enter. And you want to go from this point to this point. All right, and let's take a look on if that is going to look all right. If they connect it together and then you will have a something like this, right? But the thing is how we're we going to connect it. There's a two way to do it. If you take a look back into the ghost view and you're going to see that they are actually equal number right there. Uh, to the way to connect it, you can use the bridge command again and you're going to bridge like with the faces like this face. For example, you're going to pick up the faces of this one, one, two, three, and four, enter, and you're gonna flip it on the other side. You pick up here, one, two, three, and four, and then that, that way you will connect them into one piece, right? But there's a lot of things to connect it. Like once I have a pattern, it's like a way too much. So the way I actually like to work with it, once I know this way is working for my model, I actually wanted to go back to before I turn them into the solid. Uh, let's go back here. All right, so then you have the off offset uh, sub D right here, and then we want to click on offset. So we will do exactly the same thing that distance is to solid is equal yes, and let's hit enter. But we want to get rid of some surface first. So make sure you have a sub D selection, faces to select, and you want to select those faces where it's going to connect it with others for example this one this one it's not a whole row we just need to make sure that where it's going to connect it uh it's uh did it and i forgot to pick up here and here and we want to did it this one all right so now we have the opening like that it's touching the edges there and not also notice that it's kind of a coming out we need to actually have them uh, matching with the this curve right there so what i like to do is if you turn uh using the tab key and turning into the box mode then you can find out this is this guy that's coming out so what i like to do is uh going to using the sub d tool we're gonna pick up this sub d point those are the sub D point. And then we want to align them, just type it zero. And I wanted to move with this point back to this point. So then they will be something like this. Okay, uh, we're gonna do the same on all four corner. Again, you want to align them to the zero and then you want to move it from there to there align them to the zero. What I did is on the gumball and I'm going to uh, just type it on the 1D scale like this one, type it zero. So there will be, all the points will be aligned and then we want to use the move tool to move from this point to this point. All right, to the, the curve point that we have. Then we have something aligned perfectly like this. Let's tap it and go back with the sub D. Now we have this object. I actually want him to uh, go around it. Um, so actually I'm going to come back with the sub D and we're gonna pick up all the edges that we know here. 
and it won't apply to you know where that opening but we want to use the remove crease and we'll get something like this so everywhere is around it but we still keep the opening right there all right let's give it another try we are going to pick up uh, the sub D object and we want to rotate 180 degree by holding the shift and hit the alt key to get a copy and then we'll get something like this on my top view I do want to rotate it 90 degrees so that's hit it uh, with the gumball holding your shift then you will get something like this so let me go to uh, turn this one on the bottom for the red color all right so double make sure that if the pattern is correct if that is look correct to you we are going to use the rectangle array and we are going to do just two for sample and we're gonna go from here to snapping into this point right there all right so now you see that this is my pattern but they are individual piece so we have the age is matching the age so let's go ahead to pick up everybody and we just need to use the join command and sub the join edge is smooth and hit enter then it will connect it together like this let's take a look on the render view so if you look take a look on the render view and see if you like this uh, orientation if you don't like it on the sub the uh, you can actually still modify it. so for example I can come into a sub D I feel like this point need to be higher so I'm going to pick up the point right here and I want to edit to make it more pointed right and then you can edit just on this one the rest of for the reference and you can later on just delete the rest of them and redo the array um, rectangular array that will get the perfect pattern for what you're looking for i hope you enjoy the video let's us sub the playlist if you are interested in take a look on all my sub d video and also there's a sub d course on my website you are welcome to check out the content and see if you like it thank you for watching and i'll see you next